fellow blood test viewers this video we're going to mainly give you information and knowledge on the functional principle of the biochemistry analyzer why should we know the functional principle of all these analyzers you might be running a medical college a multi-speciality hospital or even a standalone laboratory you need to know what is the basic functional principle of all these analyzers to choose the best machine with clarity you take a point of care machine, small machine which cost you around 40,000 to 50,000 and the machine which cost you around 50 to 60 lakh. All these machines have various basic functional principles. Only when you know the basic functional principles of these machines, you will have a clarity on choosing the best machine for your premises. This video, we are going to give you on how the basic principle of biochemistry analyzer works. The principle based in a biochemistry analyzer is the calorimetry. So it is the amount of light which passes through a colored substance. So if you take a semi-automated biochemistry or a fully automated biochemistry, the amount of light which passes through this colored complex is what we are going to measure and we are going to get it as a value and we are going to report it. So what happens in a fully automated biochemistry analyzer? There will be a complex formed, a color complex formed by the sample along with the reagent. So when we are going to pass a monochromatic light, so monochromatic light means a single light source with a single color, what happens is it will emit light from this uh, complex. So like if this color is going to be dark, it will emit only less amount of light in a particular wavelength. If this colored complex which is formed with the sample and reagent, this color, suppose this colored complex is very light in color, it will not absorb much of the monochromatic light and it will emit an enormous, I mean like good amount of light which is again calculated or which comes in wavelength. So these wavelengths are captured here in a concave grating system in different uh, wavelengths. So from this concave grating system, what happens is it disperses the wavelength into the next system. Suppose it is coming at a particular uh, wavelength of around 400. There will be various other detectors of this wavelength. So if this uh, wavelength is coming in a 400 a nanometer, this from the grating system, it will pass on to the detector which is having a 400 nanometer uh, a wavelength. So from this detector what happens is this light again goes into an amplifier system. In the amplifier system this light gets amplified and we get an absorbance value. This absorbance value is again goes through a series of algorithms and calculations and we obtain a value. This is how the optical system the optical system of a biochemistry analyzer works. In this optical system, we also have to know one important thing. What is the spectral bandwidth? For this optical system, if the spectral bandwidth is around 10 nanometers, then it means it will have a high resolution. When there is a high resolution, we will get a very precise value. This is the major technology used behind a fully automated biochemistry analyzer. So what will happen when we are using a semi-automated and a fully automated biochemistry analyzer? In a semi-automated analyzer, when there is extra amount of reagent or extra amount of sample put into this complex, the color complex formed or the amount of the depth of the color formed can vary while you are doing it manually. That is what never happens in an automated system. That is why the values got from an automated system are more precise because we use the technology of calorimetry or the principle of calorimetry in detecting all these biochemistry values which are more precise due to the automated technology used in the automated biochemistry analyzer. This is the principle and this is the working of the optical system in very simple terms for you to understand how an automated biochemistry system works. It really feels very good in having some knowledge about the basic functions of the principle of this machine particularly works before choosing the machine for your laboratory. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like my videos, kindly like my videos, press on the bell icon, subscribe my channel and also share my videos. This is Dr. Lalita Sendal signing off.